So, my name is Bob Lee. Recently, I built three milkweed separators for the Monarch Watch here in Kalamazoo. They were based on Chip Taylor's plans. After I had them built, I was testing them and I had trouble with one of my vacs, so I thought I'd try just the vac sucking the, the fluff in because I didn't seem to be getting enough fluff. Well, I found that by just sucking it through a regular hose like this off the shop vac, it would take the seeds off. I didn't need to run it through chip separator. So what I did is I had made some modifications on my shop vac. Now, my brand name is shop vac. That doesn't matter. What matters is you have a, uh, a vacuum that you use in the shop. What I did is I put a new filter on and I put pantyhose over it to keep it from filling up the uh, pleats on the filter. In addition to that, I built a bottom to go in the shop vac giving me about this much space, just enough so that the seeds could fall down through without being stuck in with the floss. Now once I had done that, I put this thing together. In this can I have 30 milkweed seed pods that I've uh, put in there. I broke them up and it just it doesn't matter, these, these are pretty fluffy, this one. So you just try to keep them as fluffy as you can and keep them away. Now this one's a little wetter than what I'd like, but it will still work. What I try to do is keep it where I don't build up a big pack down of, of the floss. I've got another one here that's maybe a little better. And just try to keep them as is from packing down as much as you can, keep the flossy so that they will bounce. Now I'm going to show you what I've got in the can. Once I turn the vacuum on, you're not going to be able to hear. So what I'm going to do with this hose is keep it in there just a barely above the seeds and in the fluff, just enough so that it can suck in just a few at a time. I don't want a big clump. If I get a big clump, then it probably is not going to work. I have, haven't really experimented with that much to find out, but I try to keep it just a few at a time. Now I'm going to move the camera, see what I've got down there. Now you can see this can is about a quarter full. It's only got 30 milkweed seed pods in it. So I'm going to turn the vacuum on now and show you how I suck these out. You know, I'm not going to see anything while I'm actually vacuuming because you won't be able to hear very well. Okay, that does that. Now, let me get this set back up. And you can see what I've done in the vacuum. Pull it back on, you can see it. You can see it wraps around the back. It's not 100% clean, but it's sure not got very many in it. And then the cloth just wipes right off. Now, you can see that I do have some fluff inside the can yet that I've got to pick out. And it's the dirtier of the fluff. And there are some seeds stuck in it, but it's not really bad. I pull this fluff out of the wire. I always try to go down through the wire. It hasn't made it. Make sure I get all the fluff out of there. So 
separate as many seeds out as I possibly can. And just so you can see, this is what I have left. And by shaking a little bit, I can get the seeds to go down through that quarter inch screen and get a little more of that fluff out. you make the screen the better obviously got a little more fluff to get by the screen now I always dump it over here into uh, a sifter my wife is so kind to Decided she no longer needed. Once I get it all in there, I still got fluff, yes. Very cautiously take it out. Then by doing this with the seed separator or with the sifter, the trash comes up to the top and you get more of the floss out. You just roll it and it makes the fluff ball up. It's not 100% clean, but I'm thinking I've got between 90 and 95% of the seeds out of that. And we wind up with about a quarter cup of seeds out of each batch of 30. So I hope this has been a benefit to you. If you uh, care to make comments or, or contact me through the YouTube website, I'd appreciate, appreciate it and I'll explain anything I can. Thank you very much.